It always comes to this. Just here to do another tattoo progress update today. Um, where I last left off, I probably just had the, yeah, I say probably, I can barely remember myself. We're getting so much done lately. I probably just showed off the, the uh, white on black highlights uh, in that tentacle on my side that we didn't quite finish. I think it was like three and a half hours and we didn't finish it. Um, since then, I've had two sessions, and I'm about to have another one in a day or two. So, I say a day or two because it kind of depends. Uh, it could be tomorrow or Friday. Not tomorrow or, yeah, maybe Saturday. Kind of depends. There's a couple spots I could do it in. Anyway, I'll get to that in a bit. Um, I, had a, I had a small appointment uh, last week. It's still not done healing, which may be a hint as to what it was. Um, obviously this video will have the, have it in its title, but, uh, I got my palm tattooed. I got my, my, uh, right palm tattooed finally. I, uh, got my first palm tattooed as a wedding gift about four oh, and a yeah. half years ago. Maybe, I guess right? it was, yeah, about four years ago. Um, that was with, uh, my old tattooer Lee. And, uh, I never ended up having to have that touched up. Now... I haven't had many tattoos on my hands without taking time off. I guess I'll go ahead, before I get into story time, I'll just go ahead and show it off. So this is about six days now. Um, palm tattoos, they take forever to heal. Um, I don't know, it's not something that people talk a lot about, um, the amount of time difference that certain things take to peel. Um, but uh, commonly, palms take a very long time. Um, it's a different type of skin. It's like, it's weird. It's the top layer is very thin, but the, the inside of it is quite thick. So, uh, what you get is a bit of a calloused skin there. Um, usually palms are pretty dry. I mean, I've been, I've worked with my hands my whole life. You can see I've got pretty thick calluses all over my hand, um, which makes it pretty, uh, difficult to get through, um, the, the top of the surface. You gotta go pretty deep, but, um, I, I always think that the best way to do a palm tattoo is almost like potentially blowing it out or something, really digging it in there. Um, Terry slowed down his uh, his uh, hand speed and increased his needle speed intentionally trying to blow out the tattoo um, or kind of like dig it in, scar it in so that it, um, it will go in almost too deep or uh, something like that anyway. I said to him at the beginning when Lee did my first one, um, this one being the first one, back in uh, 2018, neither of us knew exactly what we were going to have of this left at the end of it, but he intentionally wanted to go, he, he almost did it, he almost tattooed like he, he was incompetent or um, like he didn't know what he was doing was his aim, like he wanted to kind of you know, screw the skin up. You wanted to blow it out. You're not looking to get precise lines necessarily. I mean, some people might be able to finesse a, a palm tattoo in, but he, you know, when you're only going to do a palm maybe three or four times in your life, um, it, it's one of those things, right? Like how many times are you going to tattoo someone's belly button? How many times are you going to tattoo someone's nipple? How many times are you going to tattoo an armpit? How many times are you, you know, working inside the ass cheek? There's certain places that and most artists just don't do a whole lot. So they don't get to develop like a technique for it when they have to. Um, and that's, the palm is one of those. So anyway, uh, the palm tattoo uh, that I ended up getting done is an Ouroboros, which for anyone who doesn't know is the snake that eats itself. Uh, this is always a tattoo that I wanted to put on myself somewhere. I just never really knew where. Um, it's very, you know, I don't do a lot of uh, little symbolic one-off tattoos. I had some of those in my first suit, but um, obviously there's not place for them for the most part anymore. This one, though, really does hit home for me, and it's always been a, 
a real uh, symbol for a, a lot of what I've done in a way. Like I'm even down to the fact that I'm in some way recreating my first bodysuit over top of the blackout right now. Um, in a, in a way, um, anyone who's seen my series, uh, um, why I blacked out will kind of understand what I mean. The first suit that I did didn't really work out it, it, for all kinds of reasons. And I don't really want to get into them now, but, um, the blackout was sort of a rebirth and then continuing that after that is another rebirth. So like I envisioned my third in quotations bodysuit being some blend of the two, but I, I do believe that to some degree I'll always continue recreating myself. I don't really think that that cycle's ever going to end for me and I'll just keep coming up with uh, more reasons to carry that on. And I think you could call that, you could call that addiction or something. You can call that whatever you want. All I know is that it's the truth. It's most likely not going to stop. I'll probably always be in some cycle of rebirth or um, continuation or something. So um, this little symbol here, even though it's a pretty simple version of it, is uh, very, very important to me. And it's a very, uh, it's a very real companion for me. So it was one of those things where I was kind of happy to have some negative space. I would have done this as eventually as a white on black tattoo or uh, color on black or something uh, if I had to, like if I had nowhere else to go with it, but especially for the size, it doesn't need to be big. It was kind of that perfect uh, perfect spot for it. Um, palm tattoos, big recommendation for me is like, if you're gonna do it, and I feel like a palm tattoo should be one of the, not. No, I wouldn't say it's one of the last things you should ever do with tattoos, but it's it's a place that I think you should only get tattooed if you have a lot of um, comfort with being tattooed and um, like you're kind of at the end of your road to some degree with um, free spaces. Like I feel like there's a lot of better places to go, but not, not just for because it's on the palm of your hand and it's painful or anything like that, but because like there's just better show pieces, there's better like places to put something on display than your palm. Also, like whatever you're gonna do on your palm, unless you're going to a real, real badass like a Luke Ashley or something, um, it's probably gonna be of a lower quality than uh, what you could get even on the top of your hand. And the hand to begin with isn't the best spot. Just part of why being able to do white on black hand tattoos was one of my first goals with the work on black was to start in a spot that's terrible and if you can get it to stay there, then you can probably get it to stay anywhere. But anyway, I'm detouring a little bit. Um, I would recommend that you keep it fairly simple. Um, bold line, simple, dot shading. We're not using typical shading here. I don't think most of these dots are gonna stay in there. I feel like realistic, we might get some of those dots. This is, <laughs> this is gonna be the first time in a long time that I'll say this on the vlog. For anyone who's watching these all the time, I'm not sure what I'll be showing off in a week from now. I'm not sure what this looks like in a week from now. Because though I got lucky with this one, maybe I got lucky, I don't know. Maybe I'll get lucky twice. Um, I always considered this luck. That's, yeah, four years old now, and none of it dropped out. Like some of the lines thinned a bit, but for the most part, it's there. Most people, when they get their first palm tattoo, and the first go of it anyway, it's it's pretty gone at the end. Like they don't have a lot left to show. I know lots of people who, I, I, funny story, uh, Scott, one of the guys I do the podcast with, he had a guy who was gonna get his, he, he was gonna palm, uh, tattoo his palms for him, but the guy got impatient because Scott had about two month wait period at this time. It's quite a bit longer than that now for, for the record. Uh, he went to a shop down the road here who could get him in right away. And I remember he posted the, the day one and they looked great. And it was one of those, we'll see those soon though. Well, now they're so messy and so scarred up and messed up looking that he wants Scott to black them out because he doesn't even think they're worth saving. As if blacking out your palms is gonna make matters much better, but um, and, uh, it's just one of those things that like, if you're going to get a palm tattoo, you should, you should probably be patient and go to someone that you think can do it. Now, this is only the second time 
Terry's tattooed someone's palm. He did his own palm. Um, he admittedly didn't finish it and couldn't do it the way he wanted to because it hurt too much to do to himself. But he wasn't going to have that problem with me because I just sat there and had the time of my life. I, I love getting tattooed. It's obviously no secret. Um, so yeah, he could do, he could push as hard as he wanted to or uh, keep going as slow as he wanted to or any of those things without having to worry about a tap out or anything like that. So um, but this will be interesting for him as well to see if he can do a palm tattoo and get it to heal. Um, and he's never going to have anybody who takes healing a tattoo more seriously than me. That being said, I only babied this for maybe a day or two. And then I would just, I was living life normal. You can't let, like, because the palm's going to take so long to heal. Whatever the hell's healing on the top is it's most likely done. It's mostly just healing on the bottom. Uh, realistic was after about an hour or two after the tattoo, there was no pain or anything left in the the, the location of the tattoo that doesn't mean that there's no pain like there's no sensitivity but like the palm seems to the pain seems to go away really quickly and when you're getting it done it does it has its own feeling um people ask all the time if if palm tattoos are painful or anything like that i could probably sit for a palm tattoo every day of the week um i don't want to be healing one every day of the week but now that i'm not working two jobs and one of them being incredibly physical um, it was no problem for me to get that tattooed like that on a, almost on a whim. Um, I also did it as, in a, in a way, a little bit of a reward because I just quit my second job and, uh, I won't be banging up my hands all the time anymore. I'm in a bit of a leisurely lifestyle now where I can, I could black out my palm if I wanted to on the job and it would be fine. Now, still don't want to, but just saying that I could if I wanted to now in the lifestyle that I'm living. Um, I did that as a bit of a reward to myself because now I can do those things. Um, but yeah, it, 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 uh, palm tattoo is painful for sure. Um, but you're race the clock, you know, you got, your palm is only so big. Like even if I did way more than this and there's some chance that I may add to my palm tattoos, I'm thinking about dotting in this moon or coloring it or something. Um, it's not a really long session. It's never going to be. Um, you, you've only got so much time. So some things, even if they're extremely painful, I won't give them a 10 or a 9 or whatever because they're, they're so momentary. You're in and out. It's like when you're getting your nipple tattooed. How big is a nipple? Like, it's only going to take so much time. How big is a belly button? How long is that going to take? You know, you're, you're, you're racing the clock. Whenever you're sprinting, Time is on your side. You're going to be done before you know it. So just have a laugh. I've been, <laughs> there's been a few tattoos I've had over the years, and the palm tattoos haven't been one of them, that have been hilariously painful. Like physically painful to the point where I'm giggling a little bit at myself, sometimes even out loud. I remember the first time, the first time I ever got my fingers blacked out, I said to Lee, when he was about halfway done the first finger, <laughs> I was like, I'm crazy. I don't know why I do this to myself. But it was it was like laughter of enjoyment. Especially because I, I had a week off coming up. And it was just one of those, you have to be able to laugh at yourself. And there's this is the silliest, this might have been at that point, the silliest thing I have ever done to some degree. Just knowing that you're going to follow through with this. And you're going to do it happily. It's, it's a really weird euphoria that sets in sometimes, and that can be enough to carry you through the worst of it. Anyway, as again, um, little Ouroboros banger. Not sure what's going to be left of this guy. Hoping for the best. It won't be the same as it is now. There's no chance of that. Kind of hoping that it does a similar thing where, like, we double-lined this, we double-lined that. Hoping that it'll be, like, where it's the same but thinner. Um, the lines being weaker and some of the dots falling out, maybe. But who knows? I will be showing it off, of course, because I always do. I'm not the guy who, you know, hides the result. I'll be the first to show it off. And if I have to do it again, we have to do it again. If we have to do, do something differently next time, then that's what we have to do. I mean, like I said, not many people are going to be doing palms all the time. So you kind of have to just figure it out as you go. Anyway... I'll uh, talk to you guys again soon and uh, have a great day.